Hey, what's going on, Sexy Simulator the Squad? I am playing on her. And as you guys know, a couple days ago, I fought Incon. Incon did an on her build that just absolutely poo pooed on my soul. And it wasn't like a crazy on her build, it was nothing like super experimental or anything like that but i just wanted to see the damage for myself you know like i know that it's there i've seen the damage hit me but i want to hit someone else with that damage <laughs> so i'm gonna do his build now i can't obviously go breastplate because i'm against a poseidon but i can go genji's which is not that much different i mean i lose 10 percent cooldown but you know the build isn't even about the cooldown realistically uh i will say against poseidon i like the on her matchup i think it's very strong you might notice that i went shell instead of like you know something other than shell the reason being because uh when on her alts He's CC immune. So when I get Krakened, I just pop shell and alt and I'll be fine. Like I, I don't need the Aegis hit or anything like that. I'm standing in his whirlpool so I can insta clear. It's worth it. Don't at me. Get the minis first. Uh, I could probably invade his blue, but also he's got Boomba's Hammer. And Boomba's Hammer, the one on Poseidon plus Boomba's Hammer is like a 200 damage secure at level 3. So it's very, very hard to out-secure Poseidon for a buff. Which is why he's so good. Because his clear is amazing. His fighting potential is amazing. And his buff secure is amazing. You could argue that on her is kind of the same in the sense that once you level him up a bit, his buff secure is really hard to beat with uh, the two. I don't know, man. I'm pretty hard chilling, I think. And that is exactly why I bought Shell. Because when he Krakens, I don't panic. I don't jump away. I don't do anything like that. I just simply Shell and ult. And my ult does more damage than his. It sounds stupid, when I say it, I know. But take it from a 9-star Poseidon. I have 10,000 worshippers on that bad bitch. Okay? Take it from me. Poseidon all doesn't do that much damage. What does the damage is the combo after the ult. It's the, it's the fact that they're sitting in your 3 for the whole time. It's the fact that you're autoing them very closely with your 2. And you have easy confirm on your 1. That's the damage. So you don't even need to avoid the damage of the Kraken. You just need to not be stunned. Which is why I buy beads against Poseidon and other gods as well. Instead of Aegis. So I can keep up my aggression. I think Poseidon will be a lot worse in Smite when more people recognize that his Kraken doesn't 100 to 0 you. It's everything else after the Kraken that does. Now, that being said, if you're four levels down and you get Kraken, you're probably fucking dead. I'm talking strictly, like, in duel if you're even, or even if you're even slightly down. Or ahead, obviously. That's an option. Beads works just fine, man. Works just fine. He's going Bancrofts. I assume he's going attack speed Bancrofts. Because Poseidon. And... What if I just didn't go to... No, never mind. I was going to say, what if I didn't go to fence, but then I would die. Then I'm asking to get 100 to 0. What are you doing? Who are you? What have you done with my child? Yeah. Yeah. I really want the red buff. Oh, I hit those. Damn it. I think I missed... I missed six of my eight spears. <laughs> Damn it, man. Why am I so bad? Alright, at least I have my two maxed out now. 
At least I'm pumping some serious numbies. Now, when I have no alt and I'm jumping into him, expecting to get Kraken, you you can definitely ensure that that's a bad fight to take. That being said, I do a astronomical amount of damage with Transcendence and Red Buff while he's sitting in my one. I do 200 damage in auto. And I have one, one item, so... That's pretty insane. I actually think that I was dead there if he held his Kraken a little. Seriously. I think if he waited till after I stunned him against the wall and then he Krakened, my jump would be down. I have no alt and I have no shell. So it guarantees to hit me. And he gets extra power, almost double his power from Bancroft's after my two hits him. I think I think I could have lost that fight. I think there's there is a world where I lose that fight. He could have played it perfectly. There's nothing up. There's no way you're doing Bull Demon. I, I refuse to believe it. What if I just Omega cringed you? Where are you? There you are. He doesn't know? Pop. I actually super cringed him just now. Oh, I hate when people do that to me and I just did it to someone. I actually feel a little bit dirty about that one. I feel bad about that one. But, you know what? Duel is duel, baby. Duel is duel. I feel like this latte is unlimited. I feel like I've taken 100 sips of it and it's still half full. Do what? It's good though. It is good. All right, next item, obviously executioner. After that, the good old kins. I think I'm just gonna go bull demon here. You could steal it with a kraken, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll be all right. What are the odds he just doesn't make it over here in time? Pretty slim, but also possible. Hey, there he is. got it that motherfucker come here who do you think you are who do you think you are how dare you walk up to me and crack in my bull demon like i'm some kind of fucking oracle when i called it how dare you make me look smart i can't believe him Tower, tower on the wall. When will you fucking fall? Got it. Yeah. Red buff is mine. XE is 2200 gold, I think. Yes, it is. The upgraded XE, I was going to say upgraded Rexy, is 2800 gold. Um, I don't know how much on the map for me to do right now. Just kind of farming. Not in any danger of losing a fight, so I'm not even backing. I do have my alt up if he tries to get all frisky on me. How much gold do I need to save to go back and get fully upgraded XE and this? I need 5,400 gold and one back. And then I go from autoing for 100 to autoing for 400. Interesting. Ouch. There's really just nothing up. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of standing here. Yeah, 126. That was actually a pretty good amount of damage. I'm sitting on 3k gold and I still auto him for over 100. That's pretty insane. I 
I, I can get like three or four autos off with every wave. Because he's a little scaredy baby. Alright, you know what? I'm asking to die. I gotta back. I gotta not be stupid. Alright. I got my ferocious executioner. Now I'm going into my my kins. Ferocious Executioner gives me an extra 20% damage over time. If I keep landing autos and abilities and whatnot. Which is like a lot of extra damage. Hello, enemy man. Care to tussle a bit? I've spent 3,000 gold. Take three steps and turn. Why do I do just as much damage as I did before? I spent 3,000 gold and I hit for 128 before I backed and 128 now. The hell is that about? Um, I guess I'm just straight farming still. Kind of lame, but it's it's also pretty much expected against a Poseidon. You kind of expect to have to farm up until you can get Bull Demon to get the Phoenix. Because the clear is just too good. I need... Kins is 2,600 gold. I need... Tw 2,000 after buying tier 1 to get it. Alright. That's manageable. I'm already at 1,500. Hello. He instantly threed his feet and ran. Can you blame him though? I'm going to go for this again. We'll see. I do a lot more damage now than I did before. Oh, yeah. You're definitely not going to be able to make it here in time. Definitely not making it here in time. Excuse me. Now I go back. I grab my kins. And I start doing just insane amounts of damage. I'm ready for this, dude. I'm ready. I'm going to switch my relics around. I like blink on my F button because it's faster to hit. Also, I see comments sometimes asking what my, uh, what my keybinds are. I literally, I use default keybinds. I missed everything. Oh, man. I just hit this Poseidon for about a 300 damage auto. Holy shit. Can I kill you in Fountain? Nope. Like, my attack speed is slow, but... I don't know, man. Is this spawning, actually? Oh, no. Okay. I was going to say, I thought that I just got it. Why do you think... Why, why do you insist on trying to fight me? You don't win these. I got fire minions now. Good luck, doofus. Alright, let's go get blue buff. My next item I'm probably just going to grab is a toxic blade. But I do want to upgrade my mannequins first because mannequins gives you auto attack damage. And my auto attack damage will go from 
10 to 50, which is obviously a massive boost because the way auto attack damage works or the stat auto attack damage in smite, it's not, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. Like if I increase my auto attack damage by 50, my other, like my penetration applies to it afterwards, as well as my power, like stacks, I guess. Like I was autoing the blue buff before for 230. I get a 40 damage, a 40 auto attack damage increase. And now I'm autoing for 380. So I, I don't know exactly how it works. I just know that other stuff is applied afterwards. So auto attack damage is actually, or basic attack damage technically is what it's called. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, like I was autoing him for like 150 and I just autoed him there for about 248. Like it's just, it's just crazy how much more damage. Look at this damage I'm doing to Titan, man. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, he had thorns. I didn't even, I didn't even look at the thorns. I autoed the thorns like three times and and I killed myself. <laughs> Shit. That's okay. I also didn't use any relics that fight. <clears throat> This build does damage, dude. Like, if it wasn't the fact that he was basically sitting in his fountain for the past 17 fights we've had, <clears throat> like, there's no way he can win a fight against me. There's zero chance, dude. Oh, I suck. Oh. Oh, I only hit two autos. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Bro, I hit three autos and it did 700 damage. What the fuck? Can I kill this thing? Oh yeah, Titan's such a bitch. Titan is such a bitch. GG. That was a good game. And uh, that build definitely pumps numbies. Ferocious, Xe, and Kins combined. They just work so well together. <laughs> I know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.